everybody. So I just got my February's Boxy Charm in the mail. And I know I'm super late on this, but I subscribed to Boxy Charm back in August and I just now got off the wait list like a week and a half ago, which is why I'm so like getting my box. But with that being said, um the integrity of the box it's pretty good. It was well taken care of. I'm super excited to open this, but it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. For whatever reason, I thought it was going to be about this big. But it's supposed to be four to five full-size products, and they have several variations of the box. Okay, so you're going to be seeing this. As I'm seeing this for the first time. What did I get? pretty stuff so this is the galaxy glow box and it has the naked cosmetics holographic highlighter palette so I'm going to pull that out Hello. and that looks like this I'm going to go ahead and swatch these colors. Okay, so it's kind of hard to tell, but... These are the swatches of the colors. So that is the highlighter palette. So we're gonna try and swatch them on my hand. Okay, so this is the first three colors. And then This is the last three colors. The bottom row, which is this row, is a lot more pigmented than the top row, but it's still very pretty. This Naked, whoops, this Naked Cosmetics Highlighter Palette retails for $39, and it says, with six stunning holographic shades, this highlighting palette is essential for any makeup enthusiast. Each iridescent shade is perfect for highlighting and layering and transforming any look into something enchanting. Very pretty. I'll have to use this in a video. Okay, the next thing is Cover Effects Shimmer Veil, which I've always wanted a Cover Effects product just because I thought they were so cool. And this retails for $28. It's a very pretty pink color. Just kinda, it's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Like it feels like a lipstick. It's honestly what it feels like, but that's it right there. Okay, and it says, these multi-use shimmering cream colors are crease proof enough for the boldest of eye looks and formulated with a weightless finish for a shimmering effect anywhere on the face suitable for all skin types so this is definitely like you want to do like a bold bright eye we're gonna have to try this next is vintage vintage cosmetics smoky eye pencil that retails for $21 which is this right here it's a sharpener pencil. I kind of like the ones that twist up, but hey. It's very, very black. So that's good. I'll definitely use this for my waterline. Um, it says, Jessica's richly pigmented smoky eye pencil delivers intense jet black definition, creating pencil point precision or smudgy saturated color the creamy soft formula glides on lids without tugging or pulling. I will say that it was very, very soft. 
Next, we have the Seraphine Botanicals Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. This retails for $24. So that is this right here. I've never had one of these, so I am kind of excited to try it. Oh, okay, so it's a little squeezy tube. This is really good for like travel. Like even if you didn't put this in here, like say you needed to take like, yeah. So we're gonna, that's good, it's sealed. And it says a blend of soft, a blend of soft sugar crystals with a rich nourishing salve base that gently exfoliates and buffs lips, leaving behind smooth skin with a touch of refreshing lemon zest scent made with avocado i like avocados apricots i don't think i've ever had an apricot jojoba 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 oils as well as shea and cocoa butter to help rejuvenate and hydrate dry lips i can't talk today that's me miss dry lips over here so we're going to It feels very, very oily, and it smells really good. Like, I just, I want to eat it. It smells so good. Okay, so now we're just going to wipe that off. I already had lip color on. Um... My lips do feel really soft. Okay, and lastly, the Crown Pro Trio Brush Set that retails for $29.99. Use this three piece Pro. I got some of the sugar. Tastes pretty good. Use the three piece brush trio to contour your face to perfection. This small brush can be used to conceal imperfections and highlight underneath the eyes. The medium sized brush can be used to sculpt the cheekbones and perimeter of the face. Finally, the large powder brush can be used to set everything in place. So these are the three brushes. They, it says they're crown brushes, but they honestly remind me of wet and wild brushes. Like I looked these up online um, yesterday and I couldn't find them on their website but they very much to me look like wet and wild brushes they say crown down here but I have a wet and wild brush um, that currently has purple eyeshadow powder in it but I mean it was pink up there and white on the bottom so let's just compare these two they have the same indentions they're about the same size. They're made just alike. So, they, they literally feel the same. So, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and test some of this stuff out. Let me get my makeup off and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my foundation on, we're going to start with this small crown brush, which says this a brush can be used to conceal imperfections and highlight underneath the eye. So we're gonna use some concealer. We're gonna use this LA Girl Pro Concealer.
like I said, to me, this doesn't look like a concealer brush, but we're gonna try it. So I think this makes it kind of splotchy, but it's okay. So we're gonna highlight a little bit more in my face and then we'll keep going. Using this as a concealer brush, I feel like it honestly just takes forever. So I'm going to set my face, but we're going to use this because it says it's good for highlighting. So we're going to use this brush to set the under eyes and see if it works any better with the powder than it does a liquid. And the answer for that is no. So we're not using that brush. We're going to Okay, so I used a translucent powder to set under my eyes. Um, we're now going to use just a normal powder, like a light powder to set the rest of my face.
Okay, now that my face is set, it says, the medium sized brush can be used to sculpt cheekbones and perimeter of the face. So, we're gonna try contouring, well not contouring, we're just gonna add some bronzer with this brush. Okay, so right off the bat, it picks up a lot of product. Okay, so it's really good for getting cheekbones. Let's see if it's good for the rest of the face. So as you can see up here, it deposits a lot of product. That would be fine if I was wearing my hair down today, but it's up. See if, it, see if we can snatch the nose with this a little bit. So it put a lot of product there that I'm now gonna have to blend out. Okay, so this brush does a good job. It just picks up a lot of product. I really need this blended in my hairline better. Okay, so it's not terrible. Um, then it says that the large brush can be used to set everything in place. So I kind of goofed and already set some powder, but we'll try and carve this out a little bit more with powder and see if it really does work like it says it does. Whoops, that was a lot of powder.
Okay, so this one is probably my favorite, but we're gonna use this one to dust off the excess. Smooth everything out a little bit. That's not bad. We're going to skip the blush and go ahead and highlight. Um, so we're actually going to use this brush again to see just what we can do with it. And I'm going to drop everything apparently. I'm going to mix these top three shades. See if we can get a pretty color off of that. I mean, it's not like blinding. It's there, it's just not a blinding highlight. The one that sticks out the most to me is the purple in it. So let's try just the purple. One. Yeah, it's there, it's nice. that. Now let's go ahead and pop some eyeshadow on. Okay, so now that we've got our eyeshadow done, I went ahead and added my concealer so that I can go back in with the highlighter on my lids, that pretty purple shade, because that's the colors that I went with was pink and purple. So we're gonna dip into this purple right here. Okay, so the highlighters, if you don't rub them in, you just pat them, they're a lot more pigmented. Okay. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll be right back. 